Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode of Savage Lands. In the last episode we figured out the controls, we figured out what the game is about, we looked at our statistics, we looked at tools, crafting, we got to know the whole thing. And, and today we're going to try to survive a little longer to see what else it is we can do and maybe we even get to survive the night, who knows. So let's get going. So I'm... Um, oh. You see the way the dead animals are lying around and the corpses... I suppose in a way it is realistic if the corpses stay, but I wonder if they could make it a little efficient in the sense that they just render them as dead textures, so not even textures, that they just become imprints or something, so that they don't become objects anymore. Because in the moment you can still interact with them, they're objects, and as far as I know, objects are way tougher on the performance to render and to deal with than not having objects if they just would be flat textures, and if they could change that, at least it would add to the realism that, um, the realistic part is that we, um, can see the corpses and actually use them even as a guide, saying, oh, we were here, yes, and I think I went a bit too far down the beach, so I might have to go back. You see, this is where I get lost now, because I, yeah. And let's pick up that stone. No, we can't. It doesn't. Oh, actually, let's make some more bandages. There we go. Bandages. Let's make. Yeah, five bandages. And then we can stack these on top. We can put the bandages here. Very nice. Excellent. Now, in the food section, you also see now deer meat and wolf meat, which should keep us going a little bit. And then we have the weapons here now. I'm gonna leave this episode pretty much here now. I'm just gonna try to find my house again, which I think is over here. Yeah, it, it's that direction, because I saw this big rock there, and I thought, oh yeah, that's where my house was, but no, it's the big rock here. And this is where my potato is. I'm gonna... the rotting meat. I'm gonna pick you actually up now, because the rotting... what was it called? Something to do with a um, worn metal... something meat... I don't know what it was. I think it was here in our um, crafting journal. Cooked deer meat, metal, worn stone axe, studded worn. Where is it? A flesh bound hammer. So I wonder if you can use the rotting meat for that. I don't know. Now we're getting very cold again, so it is time to get back to our hood. And the fire seems to be burning quite a long time. I don't I don't think they ever go out, the fires. So, which is good. Now we only have one skull, so let's place that skull here with E. And let's hope we find two more skeletons in good time. And then we can do a little bit more exploring. I don't want to run straight away to the house because I think I want to... I, this is not a review game. I want to play this game. So this is a, the first episode of my Let's Play in this game, trying to survive the brutal environment that I'm stranded on. So, to this end, just for the sake of completing the task, and that's the only reason, I shall... Oh, I need four sinews for that. Um, okay, mm, we don't have enough. We have to go deer hunting again in due time. I don't know if deers respawn. I've actually no idea. Oh, that fire looks like it's gonna go out. It did go out. Wow! Okay. Oh. That is interesting. Oh, that's not good, because that means you have to build one fire pit after the next if you can't keep lighting it up. Can I use sticks or something on it? If I pick up some sticks, can I... Um, can I press E on it and place some sticks, no? Wow, okay. We're gonna end up with a hundred campfires all around in a circle. That, that sucks. Oh, well, I hope they change that. Because otherwise this beach is going to be one big residue of campfires. Unless I can build a different campfire. Let me see. Press the right buttons, dude. Okay, so let's see. Can we build a bigger campfire? That doesn't go out? It doesn't look like it. That seems to be the only campfire. Hmm. Well, that's not good. 
the lento i think will allow us to save the game and uh, it provides shelter and blah blah, blah. so um, i think you also get a bit of heat if you're going into these buildings there but for now what i will have to do is i will have to make i will have to make a hammer now because the hammer is the only way of me getting more rocks to um get more stone for more campfires this kind of sucks really big time so let's pick up everything we can pick up and let's go into our little house here in the meantime and um, we should keep us a little bit warmer and then we can drop everything here we don't need for now until i can make storage so i don't need this i don't need the pelt for now or the bone or the meat i need this meat i need the sinew i don't need the wolf pelt i don't need the bones i will keep the bandages on me yeah okay yeah this is all lying on top of each other now probably should have split it up better and i will have to make now my stone hammer no nope, a crude stone hammer because i want to keep one sinew oh stone hammer or crude stone hammer they're the same but one does damage 10 and has a strength of 13.5 and this one has a higher strength stone hammer 13.5 oh yeah let's make that then it's more sticks and more stones but oh where's the stones did i put all the stones down no the stones are probably over here or did i use them all oh we might have to find more stones oh oh Oh, holy crap, hello. Food is coming to me. That is interesting. That is interesting. Food has found me. Oh, brilliant. A strong sinew and more meat. That is lovely, but we can't make a campfire, so... Which is not very lovely. So we have to go on an excursion at some stage to make more fire so what do we have here animal pelt okay let's spread out a little bit so we don't have all that stuff flying around on the same spot um yeah we don't need the wolf pelt i don't need the extra flint and i don't need the extra um fruit hatch okay excellent so that's kind of nicely spreading out now falling over that is very good. The frost fern allows you to make stronger bandages. Now, this was interesting. I didn't know that the wolves actually come at night and come after you. That I like that. I like that a lot. So, okay, we have to find some stone. We also have to keep warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that flint to make a torch now. Oh, look at this. We can make so much more now that we killed that because we found a strong sinew. It's letting you um, look at all the other things. That is amazing wow oh yeah that is absolutely brilliant okay so let's um oh look at this reinforced iron helmet leather arms this is brilliant it unlocks slowly everything okay let's do what's the difference between provides a small amount of heat and light and then we have a torch which yeah, so let's make a torch. And it automatically places it in your other hand. Oh crap. Holy ch you gave me such a fright. Okay, let's sneak up on you. Two, three. Ah, oh, okay, I have to follow them. Because that is meat, guys. This is meat. And then when I have my stamina rested, I have to run. Three, four... Five. Ah. Oh. oh, I think I hit both of them now three times. Okay, so let's go here. There's a blizzard coming, which is not good. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you. Excellent. Where's Where's your friend? Where's your friend? So this episode actually turned out to be a bit longer than expected. Okay, I'm gonna have to get back down because my heat is atrociously getting low and I don't think that torch is doing a lot of favors for me in that blizzard. 
So we, we, you can see the survival task on the bottom left says now, survival task completed, kill two deer. Yeah, I might as well pick up the rotting meat from here. Oh, there's, there's your friend. So let's sneak up on him, because we already hit him a few times. Oh, he's gone in the water. Water is not good for me, because water is a lot of uh, dropped frames for me. <laughs> yeah, when you look in the water, my frames drop radically. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's stay in this building then and um, stay safe. Let's make some more sticks from the wood logs. And let's place the meat here and the pelt. We can't make any storage. It doesn't give you the option to make a storage. No. No. Furline backpack, four wolf pelts, three sinews, and two strong sinew. Hmm, interesting. A bear pelt, wow. Yeah, bone dust, that's what you need for bones, but we only have one bone anyway, and uh, strong sinew is made out of three. We have four sinews now. Oh, that's brilliant. We can make our... Um, let's eat something. And then we can make our, uh, whatever it's called, the little building. So yeah, this episode was especially long, just to get an intro, I suppose, out. Maybe I split this episode up into two, we'll see. Okay, I might as well continue playing then a little bit and I'll make two episodes out of that. That would be a good idea, actually, I think. Okay, so we ate a little bit. Now we're gonna make our last task. We still have to get used to the buttons. It's the lento. So we're gonna take the lento. I think it's our last task, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we built the lento and we build it. You can rotate things nicely with um, the middle mouse button, which is nice. It's a bit slow. It's a bit slow, but. Um... Now we don't want it to be in the way of everything. So let's build here near, near our spawn point if we can. Yeah. E. And let's put the sinew in the sticks and we need one more wood log which we get from here. Oh actually there was there not one floating around on the beach over there. Oh I picked them all up. I didn't realize I already picked them all up. Okay. It would be nice if you could reignite your fire. Maybe you can and I just don't know how to. If you know how to let me know. Did that tree regrow yet? No. We leave it there just in case it does. And let's finish the lento. There you go. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but leanto, lanto, lento. I don't know. Sounds very Italian for some reason. Um, I, yeah, I don't know why I cannot just reignite this. Can I not do it with my torch? No. Okay. So what can I do here now? I can't do anything with it. I can't interact with it. So what was the point of building it? It says it gives you shelter. How does it give me shelter if I can't actually interact with it? I don't know. Well, that kind of sucks. So I don't know why I wasted all this material to build you if I could have just literally... Oh, a Groot stone armor. Jeez, stuff keeps respawning. This is amazing. If you find this place, just hang around long enough and stuff spawns. And the good thing about this now is that hammer, ha ha ha, is we shall get rocks now. Oh, there's another crude stone hammer. We're getting spoiled now. And flint. Holy crap. And the red apple. Okay, I'm in spawn heaven, so things are respawning. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. Nice. But the good thing about the stone hammer is you can now go inland. Like over there is a rock, I think. Let's run over to a rock. Where's the rock? I thought I saw a rock. Oh, okay. So let's let's go inland then for the rock. A little bit inland. Because we saw a rock further up earlier. There's still the dead animals that I was talking about. They hang around. The dead animals linger. Maybe they turn into zombies and we'll get up and try to eat your face. Because you will notice that the skeletons, they're not very natural enemies either. 
We listen for footsteps every now and then. <laughs> because especially at night, I'm sure there's like bigger animals afoot than those lousy wild dogs or wolves. Anyway, here we found a rock. Now let's see what happens when we hit it with a stone hammer. Hopefully something will happen. Oh, nice. It makes a different sound than before. Oh, look at that. We found a stone. Nice. Three, four, five. So we have to hit it five times. And then something falls out. Very nice. Oh, look, a low, low quality metal ore. Sweet. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that is brilliant. One, two, three, four, five. And another stone. One, two, three, four, five. That is brilliant. So, so far we've got six items from this rock. That is brilliant. So let's just keep hitting it until we have six stop. Oh, it's finished. Now you can hear that on the noise. This means, I don't know if they respawn as in refill after a while. Um, but we need to find another rock. And I will go to the one over there. My torch is actually burned out. That's why there's no fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to make another torch from... I have to get another tree trunk or sticks, actually. There's a stick. So let's make another torch quickly. And let's replace the torch. Now I have to go into a different screen again. They might want to fix all these issues with the screens because that's a bit too much work. Now, where's the other rock? Where was the other rock? We just looked at it. Oh, can I hit? Oh, no, that's ground. Okay, it's getting very dark now, so I might actually... Oh, yeah, there's rocks. Here's another one. Brilliant. I don't know if bigger rocks give you more resources or different resources. I haven't tried that yet. But we have five stones now. Hopefully we get a sixth one because we need heat. We need to make a campfire. And, yeah, I don't know how you can prevent a campfire from uh, going out. Oh, flint as well. Very nice. Please don't give me ore now. Give me stone. Very good. So we're gonna, we're gonna empty this rock. One more resource. And you can see the hammer wears off. So they are losing durability until they're probably gone. There you go. That's empty now. So let's go back down to the beach to our safe haven. Do we have more space now? Inventory? Not really. So, this is a burnt out torch. Yeah, we don't really want to hit more stones right now because we can't actually pick up anymore. So, what I want to do is I want to go down to my, to my uh, safe haven. And I want to build another campfire. One of the millions I have to build. It seems the sun is coming up. Okay, I'm down to 30 heat. Oh, this looks lovely. This looks very nice. I love the way that looks. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's our hut over there. Apologize for my runny nose. Uh, I've just been out with a sinus infection and after that was finished, I got hit by a head cold straight away, which is lovely. So you're sitting at work and you sound like you're dying and it just everything just feels horribly numb. I'm a bit disappointed that the campfires can't be relit because you should have a way of saying, hey, let's use some flint and relight that campfire. That You should be able to do that somehow. And I don't understand the Lento at all. If, yeah, I, I don't know. I built it for the task, end of story, so it wasn't a complete waste. Um, so let's go in here, and I'm not building a campfire in here. Maybe I sh well, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna start looking at building a big building here by the beach. I don't see the need to go to town if I can have all the resources right here to build a big building. We might build a, a town hall right here and claim this beach as ours. <laughs> yes, we shall do that. And then somehow, hopefully, can destroy these... Oh, it makes a noise. It's, it's different than when you hit the ground. So maybe we can destroy it. Maybe we can hack it up. Let's see. No. It doesn't look it. 
Okay, let's make another campfire out here. Like I said, this beach is gonna be littered with campfires. In the wrong button. Here we go. And then we're gonna make um, a wooden shack. I'm gonna chop some trees. So let's make another campfire. Can we build it on top of the last campfire at least? No, won't be able to do that. That sucks. Okay, so let's um, make it here. And let's put everything in we need. Oh, yeah, we need the wood from the trees. So let's chop another tree. Is that sticks or tree, tr tr wood logs? Because it's a very skinny looking tree. Oh, wood logs. Excellent. And I'm out of space, so I'm gonna have to run a little bit back and forth for that. Actually, can I not craft now with the two iron on my helmet? Oh, I need the sinews. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can't build storage still, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass. There's storage in the village. Maybe we just go to the village after all. I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea to find that magical village somehow. Okay, here's another wood log. Let's go back here. Actually, we can put um, our other hammer in here because we don't really need to hold on to it. And that way we have a little bit more room. We also don't need... Well, we want to keep the stones, actually. We can put them on top of each other. It doesn't really auto-stack, which is a bit of a pain. So, let's... Did I just throw out the log? Did I throw that log away? Wood log. No. Okay. That's weird. I must have used it without realizing that I used it. Okay, so where is the last wood log? There we go. And it's getting dark again, actually. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so now before that fire goes out again, let's really quickly cook all the wolf meat. And let's cook the deer meat. Very nice. And let's have a good chew on that. Nice. I wonder if you can put stone in your hand and then left click on... Nope. Excuse me? Oh, excuse me. Okay, so that's that. And um, we leave it like this for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed it, okay? I hope you're excited about this game as much as I am because... Um, oh, a studded leather chest guard has just spawned in my house! What the hell? <laughs> that is awesome. I, I like this place. I'm going to stay here forever. I don't need to go anywhere. So for all the little nuisances like campfires just not being able to be relit and you have to build like a plateau of campfires, an army of campfires, this is actually really cool. Now they don't seem to have tooltip with stats yet, so which is a bit of a pain. So studded leather chest guard, if I want to see the statistics for it, I probably have to go to my crafting screen. And um, look at it, a studded leather chest guard. Uh, warmth 3, strength 12, brilliant. And I got it for free, that is lovely. And I can't destroy items. I can already see this becoming a huge problem that I will have this island littered with items I don't need anymore. So, okay, that is that. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the look of this game. I hope you're really looking forward to this game. If you haven't bought it yet, consider it. It is a very good well-working game. Okay, it is. I, I like it. It's very, very nice. So can we do anything with our burnt out torches? I don't think so. It would be nice. I think you used to be, be able to use them in, in a recipe at some stage, which was actually really nice, but they seem to have removed that, which I'm not really happy about. And I think it was the dim torch that you used to be able to make from a burnt out torch. Because it was burned out, it's not as strong, it would make sense, so I don't know why they changed that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Okay, but we're not gonna craft this. Excellent, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a mission to make, uh, to do in the next episode. 
and find that fabled village or we just build a town house let's build a shack here and let's see if we can go inside it yes that's what we're going to do in the next episode we're going to build ourselves a shack so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did strike that like button like the gaming ninjas you are and check my channel out check the other things out that i'm playing i hope you're going to stick around and i see you as a soap in my channel soon thank you very much for watching as always this is games for kicks and happy gaming Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode of Savage Lands. In the last episode we figured out the controls, we figured out what the game is about, we looked at our statistics, we looked at tools, crafting, we got to know the whole thing. And, and today we're going to try to survive a little longer to see what else it is we can do and maybe we even get to survive the night, who knows. So let's get going. So I'm... Um, oh. You see the way the dead animals are lying around and the corpses... I suppose in a way it is realistic if the corpses stay, but I wonder if they could make it a little efficient in the sense that they just render them as dead textures, so not even textures, that they just become imprints or something, so that they don't become objects anymore. Because in the moment you can still interact with them, they're objects, and as far as I know, objects are way tougher on the performance to render and to deal with than not having objects if they just would be flat textures, and if they could change that, at least it would add to the realism that um, the realistic part is that we um, can see the corpses and actually use them even as a guide saying, oh, we were here, yes, and I think I went a bit too far down the beach, so I might have to go back. You see, this is where I get lost now, because I, yeah. And let's pick up that stone. No, we can't. It doesn't... Oh, actually, let's make some more bandages. There we go. Bandages. Let's make... Yeah, five bandages. And then we can stack these on top. We can put the bandages here. Very nice. Excellent. Now, in the food section, you also see now deer meat and wolf meat, which should keep us going a little bit. And then we have the weapons here now. I'm gonna leave this episode pretty much here now. I'm just gonna try to find my house again, which I think is over here. Yeah, it, it's that direction, because I saw this big rock there, and I thought, oh yeah, that's where my house was, but no, it's the big rock here, and this is where my potato is. I'm gonna, the rotting meat, I'm gonna pick you actually up now, because the rotting, what was it called? Something to do with a um, worn metal, something meat. I don't know what it was. I think it was here in our um, crafting journal. Cooked deer meat, metal, worn stone axe, studded worn. Where is it? A flesh bound hammer. So I wonder if you can use the rotting meat for that. I don't know. Now we're getting very cold again, so it is time to get back to our hood. And the fire seems to be burning quite a long time. I don't I don't think they ever go out, the fires. So, which is good. Now we only have one skull, so let's place that skull here with E. And let's hope we find two more skeletons in good time. And then we can do a little bit more exploring. I don't want to run straight away to the house because I think I want to... I, this is not a review game. I want to play this game. So this is a, the first episode of my Let's Play in this game, trying to survive the brutal environment that I'm stranded on. So, to this end, just for the sake of completing the task, and that's the only reason, I shall... Oh, I need four sinews for that. Um, okay, mm, we don't have enough. We have to go deer hunting again in due time. I don't know if deers respawn. I've actually no idea. Oh, that fire looks like it's gonna go out. It did go out. Wow! Okay. Oh. That is interesting. Oh, that's not good, because that means you have to build one fire pit after the next if you can't keep lighting it up. Can I use sticks or something on it? If I pick up some sticks, can I... Um, can I press E on it and place some sticks, no? Wow, okay. We're gonna end up with a hundred campfires all around in a circle. That, that sucks. 
Oh, well, I hope they change that. Because otherwise this beach is gonna be one big residue of campfires. Unless I can build a different campfire. Let me see. Press the right buttons, dude. Okay, so let's see. Can we build a bigger campfire? That doesn't go out? It doesn't look like it. That seems to be the only campfire. Hmm. Well, that's not good. The Lento, I think, will allow us to save the game and uh, it provides shelter and blah, blah, blah. So um, I think you also get a bit of heat if you're going into these buildings there. But for now, what I will have to do is I will have to make... I will have to make a hammer now because the hammer is the only way of me getting more rocks to... Um, get more stone for more campfires this kind of sucks really big time so let's pick up everything we can pick up and let's go into our little house here in the meantime and um, which should keep us a little bit warmer and then we can drop everything here we don't need for now until I can make storage so I don't need this I don't need the pelt for now or the bone or the meat I need this meat I need the sinew I don't need the wolf pelt i don't need the bones i will keep the bandages on me yeah okay yeah this is all lying on top of each other now probably should have split it up better and i will have to make now my stone hammer no nope, a crude stone hammer because i want to keep one sinew oh Stone hammer or crude stone hammer. They are the same, but one does damage 10 and has a strength of 13.5. And this one has a higher strength. Stone hammer, 13.5. Oh, yeah, let's make that then. It's more sticks and more stones. But. Oh, where's the stones? Did I put all the stones down? No, the stones are probably over here. Or did I use them all? Oh, we might have to find more stones. Oh. Oh. Oh, holy crap, hello. Food is coming to me. That is interesting. That is interesting. Food has found me. Oh, brilliant. A strong sinew and more meat. That is lovely, but we can't make a campfire, so... Which is not very lovely. So we have to go on an excursion at some stage to make more fire. So, what do we have here? Animal, pelt, okay, let's spread out a little bit so we don't have all that stuff flying around on the same spot. Um, yeah, we don't need the wolf pelt. I don't need the extra flint. And I don't need the extra um, fruit hatch. Okay. Excellent, so that's kind of nicely spreading out now, falling over. That is very good. The frost fern allows you to make stronger bandages. Now, this was interesting. I didn't know that the wolves actually come at night and come after you. That I like that. I like that a lot. So, okay, we have to find some stone. We also have to keep warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that flint to make a torch now. Oh, look at this. We can make so much more now that we killed that because we found a strong sinew. It's letting you um, look at all the other things. That is amazing. Wow! Oh, yeah! That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so let's... Um, oh, look at this. Reinforced iron helmet, leather arms. This is brilliant. It unlocks slowly everything. Okay, let's do... What's the difference between... Provides a small amount of heat and light. And then we have a torch. Which... Yeah, so let's make a torch. And it automatically places it in your other hand. Oh, crap. Holy... Ch you gave me such a fright. Okay, let's sneak up on you. Two, three... Ah, oh, okay, I have to follow them. Because that is meat, guys. This is meat. And then when I have my stamina rested, I have to run. Three, four... Five. Ah. 
Oh, I think I hit both of them now three times. Okay, so let's go here. There's a blizzard coming, which is not good. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you. Excellent. Where's, where's your friend? Where's your friend? So this episode actually turned out to be a bit longer than expected. Okay, I'm gonna have to get back down because my heat is atrociously getting low and I don't think that torch is doing a lot of favors for me in that blizzard. So we, we, you can see the survival task on the bottom left says now, survival task completed, kill two deer. And I might as well pick up the rotting meat from here. Oh, there's, there's your friend. So let's sneak up on him because we already hit him a few times. Oh, he's gone in the water. Water is not good for me because water is a lot of uh, dropped frames for me. <laughs> yeah, when you look in the water, my frames drop radically. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's stay in this building then and um, stay safe. Let's make some more sticks from the wood logs. And let's place the meat here and the pelt. We can't make any storage. It doesn't give you the option to make a storage. No. No. Furline backpack. Four wolf pelts. Three sinews and two strong sinew. Hmm, interesting. A bear pelt. Wow. Yeah, bone dust. That's what you need for bones, but we only have one bone anyway. And uh, strong sinew is made out of three. We have four sinews now. Oh, that's brilliant. We can make our... Um, Let's eat something, and then we can make our, uh, whatever it's called, the little building. So yeah, this episode was especially long, just to get an intro, I suppose, out. Maybe I split this episode up into two, we'll see. Okay, I might as well continue playing then a little bit and I'll make two episodes out of that. That would be a good idea, actually, I think. Okay, so we ate a little bit. Now, we're gonna make our last task. I still have to get used to the buttons. It's the lento. So we're gonna take the lento. I think it's our last task, isn't it? 